All right, so we made it. We're in Burr. We're walking right next to the castle and we're gonna go get some dinner. But we made it safely, no yeah. problems at all. A very easy drive. Yes, yeah, we were, it was good. Yeah. Other than my wrong turn that I took, which we caught on video, so that's fun. <laughs> that's okay. All right, we're gonna go get some food. More to be said later. Oh, yeah, currently we've realized that there's no Wi-Fi in this place, which is okay. But in addition to that, the stove doesn't work, the oven doesn't come on, and also the refrigerator had tape over it, so I'm not sure if we're able to use it. Oh, it is this switch. Safety switch. The red switch. It's the answer. The answer to our problems. Ooh. <laughs> so we've also now realized that we're not allowed to cook in here. I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> So none of the appliances work. We're not allowed to cook. And so there's, there's, like, there's like an emergency switch. So it's turned off right now. It's supposed to stop fire spraying, which is good. So we could turn it on if we wanted to cook. But apparently on the listing it said, guests are not permitted to cook if you're staying less than 15 nights. Yeah. So sorry anyone who's staying here for two weeks, but you can't cook yourself some breakfast <laughs> or dinner. And also, every, everywhere here, like, stop serving dinner at four. At four. So, we, like, just barely found a place. So I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. Are we starting a fasting diet in Burr? No. <laughs> we're going to go pick up PB&J, though. PB&J for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I guess. <laughs> Gotta love that bread. Yay. Gluten. Get that bed. <laughs> Burr all oh, that God. gluten. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. There's Tori on the opposite end of the kitchen. Hi. Hello. What are we doing today, Tori? Um, we are going to Bird Castle Gardens. So we get to explore around the castle, uh, walking around the gardens. We get to see their like, little science center, which will be very fun. Um, they basically, they have one of the world's largest and oldest telescopes, which is very cool. But I'm just excited to walk around and take pretty pictures. <laughs> and no, pick I, I'm excited for science, too. We're picnicking, too. We are, yes. I'm making food now. Yeah, we're making some food. Um, we're going to go get a rotisserie chicken for dinner and just chill, which will be really nice. You ready? Are you, are you filming this? Maybe. Are you excited? I am, like I said, I put my shoes on, I've got to put my jacket on, then we are good to go. Okay, sounds good. To the castle. To the castle. I wanted to get a quick shot of outside. It's a quaint little town. Look at it. Little town, quiet village. Every day. We're in Ireland, Tori. This is in France. <laughs> I don't know any Irish. There's no Irish Disney princess. What? I know. There's Merida. She's Scottish. What? But not Irish. You're Merida. I'll be the next Irish Disney princess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're walking into the castle. Or, well, we're walking around to the front of the castle, yeah, I guess I so should that say. We can enter and look around. Yeah. We're gonna cross a road real quick, so I'm gonna set this down. And we cross the road. Off you go. Yay, Tori, safety first. Tori, there's a dog. Oh, wait, the dog's gone. Uh, Tori, are you ready to go into the breach? <laughs> into what? Into the breach. The breaching the castle. Breaching the castle. <laughs> we did it. Hacker voice, yes. we're in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're about to enjoy some nature by walking around. Mm. The actual house itself is still uh, owned by a family, so we're not allowed to go in. Yes, we can't go that way, so we have to go Yes. that way. So we're just gonna go enjoy the scenery. Yep. So That's I probably I'm getting out of the city. As about out of the city as you can get. It's really gorgeous. I'm probably gonna not take as many video journals while we're in here just to enjoy the scenery. So signing off for a little bit. I wanna get a quick video of Tori in a natural habitat. Look at her. I should have brought more film. <laughs> it's so pretty out here. <laughs> I only have 12 pictures. Ah. You're cute. You're cute. Yeah. Love you. Far? Mm. 
Alright, there's the largest telescope in the world from 1845 to 1917. It's so big. It is pretty big. That's crazy. Oh, that's a cute shot. Give me one second to take a photo. I just wanted to get a quick uh, shot of the astronomy building. That there is the telescope. And that's the castle. Kind of cool. And another thing is that tree over there is the meridian oak and how they planted north and south for the uh, mapping of the stars. Pretty amazing, right? Oh, yeah. Alright, so this is the Meridian Oak. This is for my mom because she loves oaks. How old is this oak, Tori? About 500 years old. 500 years old. It's seen a lot. And it's grown strong. Uh, we are now in the Whirlpool Tree Garden. It's supposed to represent the Whirlpool Galaxy that uh, Lord Parson, I believe, Lord Parson discovered with this telescope. This was planted in 1995. Very pretty. Okay, we're in the actual garden section now. What do you think, Tori? Beautiful. It's gorgeous. There's an amazing tree back here. I'm actually going to go back to it now because we have to show you guys. How old is this tree, Tori? How old is this tree? Over a hundred, and the flowers on it are just gorgeous. Look at them. It's so pretty. And you can go under a canopy. Check it out. It smells amazing. It does. It's very perfumey in here. It smells good. Anyways, we're here. Alright, so this is a really cool find that we found. In the Burr Gardens, there's a redwood tree that they planted here. Check it out, it's a California redwood that they decided to plant in Ireland, and it's huge. Apparently somewhere on this tree was struck by lightning. Yeah, I, we're going to try to figure out where it was, but so far it's just big. There's Tori for comparison. There she goes. That's what, 150 Tories maybe? Yeah, ta-da, yay. So because of how nice it is outside today, I decided to just straight up lay down on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could almost take a nap here. He looks great. I'm gonna flip you around. Can I do that while oh. you're filming? Well, here you go. Maybe, there he is. Hi. We're having a good time. Good time. Having a good time. Having a good time. And I'm going to sleep. Peace. Alright, so we're now in the Science Center and we're playing around with all the stuff that uh, Mr. Parsons came up with for his telescope. Yeah, the, the tube. I think, I don't know, I think that must be a model. The actual one we saw outside, but it weighs 12 tons and they used basic pulleys and levers to just move it pretty well. I'm gonna move this a little bit so you can watch it. Check it out. This is a smaller model of what it looks like. Kind of cool, right? What do you think, Tori? Very cool. Yeah? Yes. It's just like, you know, this was, what, 1845 mm -hmm. that this thing was built? And they just thought about stuff that, like, I never would have thought of. Like a little machine to compensate for the rotation of the Earth relative to the rotation of mm -hmm. whatever star they're looking at. It's just amazing. Very cool. All right, we're going to keep looking around. All right, so we found thus far that the Parsons are basically a Renaissance family <laughs> and super cool and fun. Oh, yeah. We, we found photos of them back here. They're doing anything from, like, traveling around the world to building their new inventions to, like, it looked like they were distilling some whiskey of their own and also gambling in the streets <laughs> and dancing and singing. It, they just look like a really cool group of people. Mm -hmm. And this is one of their workshops. I'm taking this video for you, Josh, because I figured you would appreciate 
an older style of 19th century workshop. So definitely Josh has to show you like all the, the pictures and stuff of the Pasco because it's amazing. Oh yeah, it's, it's amazing. Built in the 1860s. And it wasn't out, like it was out rivaled or whatever in 1917, so for a really long time it lasted. The biggest telescope in the world. Biggest telescope, one of the most accurate, and something that we found in the sketchbooks of the third Earl of Burr, uh, Mr. Parson, is that his sketches were so accurate for the time that even today they can still rival photographs of the moon and of galaxies. So it's just a pretty amazing family. Oh, this man over here came up with the steam engine. So not only were they astronomers, but they were also engineers. Inventor of the steam turbine. Amazing. All right, off we go to the waterfall. Yay! Did you enjoy the Science Center? I did. Lots of interesting exhibits. Learned a lot about the family that mm -hmm. lives here. I want to be just like them. <laughs> They're Sounds awesome. Good. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. There she goes. About to enter the mystical forest. She's like a mermaid now or something. But on land? What? Legs? Is that a human? I don't know. Can't tell in the mystical forest. Around the corner to the waterfall. Got some more bridges to walk over first. Oh, check it out! Look at that! It's so pretty! That's awesome! Oh, there's a little spout right there. <laughs> wow, so pretty. Yay. Yay. Time for a leap boat race. Yeah, right Woo! from there. Alright, so we're at the waterfall. Really cute. Really cute. I just lost a leap boat race. I won by a landslide. Sorry. I'm gonna have to give up like 50 euro now for that. How about you just take me out to dinner? Okay, that sounds good. Alright. We're gonna keep going. Yay! Alright, so this is a little shell cave. I can't remember what they called it. Might it might have been a well. I don't know. It might have been a well or something, but it's a little shell cave made in honor of, I think, Martha Guinness? Mary Guinness? That's cool. Something like that. But in honor of a Guinness. It's just very pretty. As a guardian. We've also found the castle walls over there so you can oh, hear yeah. like the street and stuff like that. I think our place is actually on the other side of this wall. Yeah, it might be. Yeah. Hey Tori. Tori. <laughs> me when I hear a pun. That's me when you tell me a pun. I never say puns. I don't know what you're talking about. I think he agrees with me. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, let's make like a shell and see you later. A do a, a side by side of our faces. Striking resemblance. Is this your father? <laughs> Good. Let's go. <laughs> Tori's being a rebel, walking down the side path. It's pretty. You're pretty. Thanks. <laughs> Love you. Okay, so we just got out of Tesco, our favorite store in yes, Ireland. It has won our heart. It really has. Because look at what we have created. Look at it. Yours is prettier than mine. Look at it. <laughs> it's some amazing chicken salad that we decided to make. And between the two of us, I think, what, we paid maybe like Eight? five euros each for all of this food. It was less than that. It's probably four. Yeah, maybe like four euros each for a huge dinner. Yeah. This is perfect. We're doing Ireland right. And, and we a, normal, also... a normal time, and I know I will, we'll have leftovers. But since we're traveling, yeah. we're we... just going to eat a lot. <laughs> and we made breakfast ourselves today. We made our own lunches. We're doing, we're, we're doing it. We're doing really good. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's nice to not like have to eat out every night. Um, it's just a good option. And this is going to, I mean, obviously be... 
can't open the dressing. It's gonna be healthier than if we did pub eat food. out uh, than pub food. Where, yeah. Like, you know, you're gonna get fish and chips or. Yeah. I mean, you, we'll get like a meat and potatoes. We don't have any kind of potatoes or anything like that, but. But we have a lot of food. A lot of health food. A lot so. of health food, so. We're doing good. Mm -hmm. Our day at the gardens was very successful, so we deserve this it dinner. It was so amazing. I had so much fun. I can't open it. <laughs> it was a really great time. Is there like a seal on it? I just am weak. Strong man. <laughs> oh, there we go. Cool. All right, well, I think we're going to eat because at least me, I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm sorry. The whole time I was just like smelling the chicken bag. Cause she was like crying. It smells so good. It reminds me of home because we would always make our own like chicken Caesar salads and that's what we had done. No. <laughs> but yeah, okay. We will. I guess we'll sign off for today. I mean. Yeah, we might yeah. do something tonight. I think we're just going to chill. I think we're just hanging. So anyways, bye for bye. now. So we found a nice place for breakfast. So we're having a uh, traditional Irish breakfast. So you can see a lot of it's gone already. <laughs> but it's you know, bacon, sausage. We had um, black and white pudding and a fried egg, hash brown. It's good. It's very tasty. It's much needed. For a us. tomato was with it, but I just <laughs> caught on my tomato. <laughs> uh, this is our breakfast. Our morning really started at maybe like 10.30 because we were so tired. We were sleepy. <laughs> but we're all checked out. We're going to have to go away. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I'm excited. Alright. Food first. <laughs> Food first. Alright. Peace. <laughs> Hello! Video journal time. Video journal. <laughs> it's me again. Hi. Um, <laughs> so we are heading to Burr. Not to Burr. Wow, we're heading out of Burr and into Galway. I did not sleep well last night, so I'm a little... Yeah, we're a little tired today. A little tired. Um, so we're headed to Galway. We're pretty close, actually, about probably, what, like 20-something kilometers away? If that. If that, yeah. Um, and I'm mapping. Well, we're good. We're not going to get lost this time. Uh, but it's been a very nice scenic drive. We've seen lots of cows. Many cows, moo cows. <laughs> many cows, many sheep. This whole drive has definitely smelled like cows and sheep. It smells like cows and sheep now. Right now. It's like a petting zoo, so it's not yeah. bad. Um, but yeah, we had a really good time in Burr. We got up this morning, um, had a very nice breakfast. Much needed. It was very good. It was good. Oh, here's a sign. Oh yeah, 11 kilometers. Oh wow, we're super close. We're close. But yeah, Burr was really great. I had a really good time at the Castle Gardens. It was probably one of my favorite things we've done on the trip so me far. Me too, me too. Definitely worth the stop. Yeah. For sure. Right? It was good. Yeah, Burr was a good call. It was good. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited for Galway. Yeah. We're going to go back and maybe chill a little bit tonight. Um, kind of walk around. Just figure out a couple things we want to do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not really planning on partying or anything tonight. I just want to hang out. <laughs> yep. We did do something fun yesterday. We went and played oh, yeah. cards in a, cup, in a pub after we signed off for the day. We were like, let's just go to the pub real fast. So we went and we played poker. Yeah, we played poker. Tori won. She beat me pretty well. <laughs> And then he beat me a lot in Egyptian round slap, so. Apparently I'm good at it. Apparently. Uh, apparently. He has a battle scar, my nail cut I him. do. I had to put a band-aid on my hand I this morning. So Ooh, pretty scenery. Ooh, so pretty. All you can see is like the guardrail. Oh well. <laughs> well, there's a bunch of stone walls. This yeah, there's stone walls it. everywhere. Yeah. It's like, um, they almost look like they've been there for a couple hundred years. Like, they've mapped out places for their yeah. cows and their sheep to be in. You see where we're going, Hunter? Yeah, and It's got a sign, N6. But yeah. Yeah. It looks like they've been keeping the same plots of land going for hundreds of years. Yeah, it's, it's probably really like pretty. a family thing, which yeah. is cool. But yeah. Alright, so I guess we'll check in when we get to our Airbnb in Galway. Alright, bye for now. Bye.